Hey, what's up everyone? So in this video, we're going to do an induction divisibility proof. So we're going to prove that 3 divides 2 to the 2n minus 1, okay? So before we do this problem, let me just recall what the divide symbol means, okay? So uh, a divides b is equivalent to, that's what this double arrow means, okay? It means the same thing as saying um, that b is a multiple of a. So b is equal to, say, m times a for some m, some, some integer m. So for some m, and then I'm going to use this symbol here, in the set of integers. That's the set of integers. This means m is an element, and this is the set of integers. You can just say for some integer m. I could have written that, and that would have been good. So a divides b if b is a multiple of n. So in this case, 3 divides this. This means this is equal to 3 times some integer, okay? So this is equal to 3 times some number, some, some whole number, some integer. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, uh, I'm going to, I guess I'll leave it up. Let's go ahead and go through, through the proof very, very carefully. So in an induction proof, you have a couple steps. The first step is the base case. So in this case, it's for all positive integers n. So the smallest positive integer is 1, so we're going to start with 1, okay? So I'll write base case. I like to do that whenever I do uh, an induction proof. So we have to prove that this is true when n is equal to 1. So when n is equal to 1, uh, we have 2 to the 2 times 1 minus 1. Let's just work out this and see what it is, right? So this is uh, 4 minus 1, right? So that's 3. So the statement is that 3 divides 3. So 3 divides 3. And that's certainly true, right? Duh, obviously, right? Now, if that's not clear, you could use this definition, right? You could say that 3 is equal to 1 times 3, right? So your m here is 1, that's your integer, and this is your a, and this is your b, right? So there's your b, there's your a, there's your b, there's your a, there's your m. So that means 3 divides 3. So that's easy. So the base case is proven, right? 3 divides 3, clear. The next step is the induction hypothesis. Basically, we get to assume that this is true for some positive integer k. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write induction, and I'll, write, I'll spell it, hypothesis. I'm going to be lazy and skip some steps, but let's do it. Let's do it right. Let's make it count. Okay, so we get to assume that this is true uh, for some positive integer k. So you just say it, okay? So like... You just say suppose, abbreviating the word suppose, uh, 3 divides 2 to the 2k minus 1 for some positive integer k. So I, I'm going to say that for some positive integer, I'll say pos int k. So for some positive integer k, um, 3 divides that. So you always do that, no matter how hard the problem is, right? Most people can make it this far. The hard part is the induction step, so uh, let's try to do it. So the induction step is we have to show that this statement is true when we replace n with k plus 1. So this is going to be the induction step. So induction step. This is where the fun begins. <laughs> let's see if we can do it, right? So, so the claim is that this is true when n is k plus 1, so we have to show. So I'm going to write claim. Now, it's important to write claim when you're writing down what you're trying to show, right? If you just write down what you're trying to show, usually like if you're taking a test or you're doing this for like a class, um, you'll get it wrong. Um, you should always write down claim here, okay? Um, because this is what we have to prove. We have to prove that 3 divides 2, and then here n, n here is k plus 1, so 2 to the k plus 1, okay, minus 1. That's the claim. That's the claim. In other words... So I'm going to use some Latin here, it est. We have to show that this is a multiple of 3. So we have to show that 2 to the 2 to the k plus 1 minus 1 is equal to 3 times m for some m, right, for some m. This is just for our purposes here. This is not part of the proof. This is what we have to show, right? We have to show that this is true. Okay, so we have our induction hypothesis, right? So um, I'm going to come down here and just put this in parentheses, not part of the proof. So we know that 2 to the 2k minus 1 is equal to like 3 times some, I want to give it a different name. I don't want to use nk or m. I'm just going to call it uh, p. Okay, so it's a multiple of 3. We know this. And we have to show that this is true. So we have this, and we're trying to get this. So we have, we're here, and we're trying to get here. So this is what we have to show. So we're, I'm going to start by doing it the most elegant possible way. We're going to show one side is equal to the other. So I'm going to show this 
is a multiple of three. It doesn't have to be this n, but it has to be three times an integer. So let's do it. So we have two to the two k plus one minus one, right? And we somehow have to show it's equal to three times a number. Okay, so now here's the thing. We have to somehow use this, right? So we have to incorporate this. That, that's a certainty, right? Um, so if you don't know how to do your problem, if you're doing a problem similar to this one, just know that you have to use this in order to do it right. So I'm going to start by maybe just distributing the two. That's a good first step. So this is two to the two K plus two minus one. Okay. And we're trying to make it look like this because we have to use this. So I'm thinking the only way to do that is to get two to the two K, right? So we can, we can write this in a clever way. We can write this, I'll come down here as two squared times two to the two K minus one. And so why, why'd I do that? Cause I'm trying to get two to the two K, right? And look, when you multiply these, you add the exponents, right? Look, two plus two K, two plus two K, okay? So now what do you do? Well, now it gets hard, right? It's like, whoa, what do you do? Well, you've already got the minus one, right? And we've got the two to the two K. We've got this two squared here, but think about this. Two squared is really four, right? I say, well, how does that help? Because now you can just use like addition, okay? And in a really weird way, watch this. You have four of these, right? So it's really, it's really one of these, right? It's one times two to the two K. I didn't write it, okay? Plus three times two to the two K, right? It's like X plus three X is four X. Think of it as X. X plus three X is four X, right? So this is your X, right? So it's like, that plus, so one of these plus three of these is four of these. People have a really hard time with that sometimes. If you don't have a hard time with it, awesome. If you do, um, yeah, so one of these plus three of these is four of those. Okay, we still have the one. So why is this good? Because now I can group these together. This is two to the two K minus one plus three times two to the two K. And we know that this is a multiple of three. Right, so this is equal to, I'll just use the same P. I'll say 3P plus 3 times 2 to the 2K. And this is, this is by the induction hypothesis. So I'll say by IH to let the reader know what we're doing, right? So this is, this is because of this, right? So you can specify here, uh, I'll put this in parentheses, P is an integer, right? You know, for some integer P, right? For some integer P. And we're almost there. Now we can just pull out the three. So pull out the three, I hope you can see this. So three, we have P plus two, to the two K. So we've shown that this is equal to three times some integer. So this is a multiple of three, right? This is an integer, right? You could say that if you wanted to. Uh, this is, I'll just say is an int, is an int, is an integer. So this is equal to three times an integer. So this is a multiple of three. That means three divides this bad boy, right? So that's exactly what it means. So that, so three divides this thing here, right? Which is what we wanted to show. So uh, two to the two times K plus one minus one. Okay. So we, we did the base case. We assumed the hypothesis, we assumed the statement was true with N equals K. We showed it was true for K plus one. Right, so by the principle of mathematical induction, um, it's true for all positive integers n. So therefore, by PMI, uh, we are done. Right, I'm being a little bit terse here. A lot of times when you do induction proofs, um, you, you know you call this. This is your s sub n. This is your statement, right? And so this is this is s sub one, right? And this is s sub k, and then this would be s sub k plus one right here. So basically to prove S sub n is true for all positive integers, you first show it's true when n is equal to one, right? Then you assume it's true for some k. So you assume the, 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 the truth of S sub k. Then you prove it's true for k plus one, right? So uh, therefore by PMI, uh, we are done with the proof. So divisibility proof, right? Um, kind of an interesting one. Uh, this is from some random uh, book on number theory that I had laying around. So I hope this video uh, has helped someone out there. Um, yeah, so take care.